Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Twilight Zone Season 3, Episode 10. I just watched the Episode 3 of the Season 3. If you want to see my reaction video about it, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. You know it, I'm gonna repeat it during this intro. I'm reacting to some episodes of The Twilight Zone, not all of them not into the chronological order, not each week, you know, it's not something regular on my channel, it's really a project that I have on my channel, you know, and sometimes I'm reacting to some episodes of the Twilight Zone, you know, just like that, sometimes when I have time on my schedule and just when I want it. Right there, I chose to react to two episodes of the season three, and I think that I reacted to episodes of the season one, two, three, and five so far, how I selected these episodes, I went on IMDb and I selected these episodes, you know, because of their rates and I selected 50 episodes like that. So far, I think that I watched 10 episodes or 12 episodes of The Twilight Zone. That's already something, you know, that's already a lot. And each time you guys, you know, it's fun because I don't have a lot of views on these videos, but I have a lot of comments, you know, in comparison for these videos because each time people are really like you're reacting to the Twilight Zone, it's weird, I didn't expect that, that's cool, that was a cool episode, I remember that it was a show which really mocked me a lot and me each time I'm just glad for you guys to discover my channel with these videos and just to share that with you because it's a project that I appreciate a lot on my channel and that's a show that I appreciate a lot because each time I appreciate how it's written, the ideas, you know, behind each episode and the fact that it was written, you know, during a certain period of time and still it can apply to our period of time. The fact that people, they add these ideas when, you know, it's also into our shows, our movies right now and we are thinking that it's so modern, you know, it's so great, it's, you know, amazing and all, when in fact it was inspired by shows like The Twilight Zone and maybe sometimes truly by The Twilight Zone. They thought about it 50 years ago and they are just transforming it for shows and movies in our days. So each time it's really cool to, to see, you know, which shows and movies maybe were inspired by The Twilight Zone and just to, yes, to, to see all of that. Like the, the episode that I watched today before this episode 10, it's episode 3, the one about the chapter. And the fact that everything that happened during this episode made me think a lot about now, in our days, people who are survivalists, you know, and these people who have chapters, who have resources like that, who are really afraid of nuclear wars, who are preparing themselves that much. But also, when really the time is beginning to be desperate, people who can act, you know, in a desperate way, and because of that, they are going violent, they are going stupid, and not so long ago, you know, during a certain period of time with a confinement and all of that, we saw that people who are desperate, people who are afraid, they can do stupid stuff and they can go a little crazy and just because they are afraid and just because they, they think that they can die, that something bad can happen to them. So I really appreciated the last episode that I watched with you guys, episode 3 of this season 3. So this episode 10, what I know about it, it's about the Midnight Sun that's the name of this episode. It was out, you know, in November of 1961. 1961. Again, I'm repeating, you know, that year, each time, you know, when it was out, because I really think that it's interesting to understand that these ideas, these things were thought, were written, were filmed during that period of time. And also because sometimes the period of time can impact the episode, you know, like right there for the chapter 
that was the beginning of people being afraid of a nuclear war and how they were reacting. So that was important, you know, the context of when this episode was out to understand the episode. And also that was important to know it, to know that people acting crazy like that, they already thought that it was not okay. And you know, the lesson of the last episode, it was in a desperate time, we need to stay civilized if we want to survive. Like truly, I think that it's also the lesson of life that people should have understood after the period of time that we all lived together during the time that we were in confinement and all. Just saying. So yes, it was cool to know the context of when the episode was out and to understand that it was out so long ago and still we can apply it right now. So right there, I'm telling it to you, still the same, 1961. And we'll see if we're gonna end this episode with the same thing in mind or not. Let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want on my Patreon, you can have extended reaction parts for these videos, which means that I'm not forced to cut that much and I'm really letting the scene and you have it with full opacity and stuff like that. It's the best way to support me, my Patreon. So far, I only put extended reaction part for the Twilight Zone episodes, which means that you just have to subscribe to the level two if you want to support me, but also if you want to have access to all of the reaction videos about the Twilight Zone and to have all of these extended reaction parts. It can be appreciated, your support, if you want to encourage me to continue to react to some episodes of the Twilight Zone. Let's go for this one. Yes, each time. Fahrenheit, right? <laughs> I, I don't know how much it is or not. For me, it's Celsius things. You shouldn't wear long things like that, you know? If it's really that hot, help yourself. Oh, oh, why so little? Okay, so it has been days like that. You're all suffering. A nice living here. Not a lot of water. Not a lot of gas. And now we have to go back to the Twilight Zone. Yes. Building's empty now. Except for you and me. If it's that hot, don't stay in the city. You know, it's not helping trees. You need grass. You, you need that you know, to, to cause things in town. I keep getting this crazy thought. This crazy thought that I'm going to walk up and find myself in I didn't know it, you know, that the two episodes that I would watch today would be about survivalism instincts and stuff like that. The coincidence is weird, you know. This is all I have strong enough to carry. There weren't any clerks around. I had at least we won't starve anyway. And there are three cans of fruit juice in there. That's great. That's what 
I said after the last episode. Knocking things over and grabbing things and throwing them away and grabbing again. Hmm? One woman just stood in the middle of the room and cried. She cried like a baby. What? A bulletin from the police department. Keep your doors locked and prepare to protect yourselves. The majority of the police force has been assigned to the crowded highways outside this deserted city. The temperature stood at 110 degrees at 11 o'clock this morning. Humidity 91%. <gasps> Enjoy it like drink it slowly. Uh oh. Cut it off again. What if it shuts off and doesn't come back on again? As hot as it is, it could be so much worse. Mais what can you do about it? At this point? Please paint something cool today. Paint something. I understand, but I think that you're going a little crazy. It's gonna explode, you know, at the end. I did not hear any steps, you know. Don't, 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 don't! Stupid. Do it at this point. Crazy things. It's too hot to play games. You took a it? That's a waste, you know, to do something like that. You do this? And? You're good. My wife used to paint. Please. Where is she, your oh, wife? Do you any harm? She was so fragile. Just, just a little thing. You threatened them and you, you took all of their water. Tried to keep her cool. But she the heat. But uh, you know, I'm not sure that I'm gonna feel sad for him. Maybe didn't live more than an hour. Okay, Which maybe I can me? feel sad for you. <laughs> I'm a decent man. I swear to you, I'm, I'm a decent man. Desperate all, all people can do desperate water. things. I couldn't do you any harm. Please believe me. If she wouldn't. So I've done that, uh, maybe. In fact, you would have helped them. Please. Please forgive me, would you? Desperate people can also go by, you Please forgive me. Why doesn't it end? Why don't we just... Just burn up? The waterfall. I, I painted it for you last night. Mm. Beautiful, Norma. I've seen waterfalls. Just like that before. Wonderful, cool, clear water. You hear it, Norma? You do hear it, Norma, don't you? That wonderful sound. Let's do that. Let's let's swim in it, shall we? Mm. She's gonna jump. And let the water come down over me. Are you not burning yourself?
She died? Just like that, she died? The fact that it's happening like that, you know, the paintings and all, are you going crazy because it's too hot or because it's a nightmare? No. So it was a nightmare. I wish I had something left to give her. But the medicine's pretty much all gone now. I'm afraid I won't be able to come back. I'm going to try to move my family south tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> so in fact, it's not getting hotter, it's getting colder. How the Earth had changed its orbit and was starting to move away from the sun, and that within the <laughs> there wouldn't be any more sun. We'd all freeze. Oish? <laughs> That's a real dilemma, you know. Would you prefer to die because it's getting too hot or because it's getting too cold? Midnight sun. There's many nights all one It was a cool episode. It was so weird, you know, because watching this episode, just after watching the episode 3 of the season 3, which was about that shelter, you know, and someone being a survivalist and who created that shelter and they have an alert maybe of a nuclear war beginning, so he's hiding into that shelter with his family and neighbors are coming to, to attack it because they want a place in the shelter and all. You know, it was a question of that. So right there to begin this episode, which is also about surviving and the end of the world and all, the difference, it was really the fact that right there they were doomed, you know, they knew that no matter what, they would all die. So that's a little difference, but you know, it's a little weird to watch these two episodes like that. Clearly it was a coincidence. It surprised me. The end of this episode, like he said, you know, Rod Serling with that voice, with that listen at the end. It's really, yes, an exercise, you know, for, for all of us to imagine it's the end of the world because it's getting too hot. Oh how rough it would be, like clearly you would need water and people would go crazy, they would try to exile, you know, at the north and stuff like that, they would try a lot of things, all of that, and to imagine the contrary, you know, at the end, if in fact the world would get colder, how it would be to live into the dark, to not be able to go outside because of the snow, because it would be too, too cold and stuff like that. At the end, no matter what, we would die, because it would be too hot, because it would be too cold. For sure, things like electricity and stuff, they wouldn't survive it. When it's too hot, you wouldn't have enough water. When it's too cold, you wouldn't have enough food maybe at some point, you know? Because you need the sun to have some food, you know, to, to have plants growing up for animals and stuff like that. So that's maybe the difference for the food, the drink. Electricity wouldn't survive in both cases. People would try to exile but not at the same place. For both cases, it would be hard to go outside no matter what because of too many sun or too many snow. What would you prefer, you know? I'm imagining, I think that it's also a question that we have into our lives like, do you prefer winter or summer? Like, when it's getting too cold for you during the winter, is it worse or not? Then, when it's getting too hot during summer, me, really, I prefer when it's getting too cold because I can take a lot of pillowers, you know, and I can be like that to not get so cold, you know, inside of me. 
but when it's getting too hot I can take out a lot of things at some point you know it's not enough like uh, if I could take out my skin I would do it but I can't and yes I'm suffering way more when it's too hot than when it's too cold so maybe I would prefer that and when it's too shiny it's really hard to deal with that when it's getting too dark you have candles, you know, you have stuff still to have some light. Maybe I would prefer that, in fact, the solution at the end. That guy, you know, coming like that, stealing their water, telling them that it's not someone who, who is stealing stuff normally and is just desperate and he lost his wife, he lost his newborn baby, all of that. I felt sad for him, but at the same time, he stole their water but you know during that moment i remember the episode that i just watched and the fact that yes desperate people when they're afraid when they just want to survive they're gonna do stupid stuff and selfish stuff and violent stuff and it's like that like right there to say to them i wouldn't have hurt you if they would have responded a little more you know to his violence maybe he would have been more violent so it doesn't mean anything you can't know he can't know and i think in fact that he would have done it like maybe in other conditions she would have used the gun truly that was an interesting episode i think that you know he talked about almost the same subject than the first one you know to survive desperate people what can you do when you're afraid surviving to stuff and all what can you do also when you know that you're doomed are you gonna try to to exile are you gonna try other stuff like that to steal from other people and all i think that it was also a big question about weather temperatures what do you prefer and really the lesson at the end the little sentence at the end when he says that it's for all of the <laughs> the weather people, you know, from the Twilight Zone, he was really talking to the viewers, directly to the viewers. You who are so obsessed with the weather, you who are always questioning yourself about do you prefer summer or winter, this episode, it's for you. <laughs> but yes, to burn yourself, you know, just because you're touching something and the sun is coming on it. It can be the same, you know, when it's too cold. You can freeze, you know, and it can burn you, it can burn your skin also. Okay, that was a cool episode. I preferred the charter one, but again, I think that the charter episode was one of my favorites so far with the guy who couldn't stop reading, with stuff like that, so that's why maybe. And also, you know, at the beginning, that thing about the, the sun, the fact that the earth is coming so close to the sun and all, I thought that maybe it was also symbolic, you know, people who are trying to reach the sun and the fact that they can burn themselves doing that, you know, all of that symbolic stuff. I thought that it could be about that, this episode. In fact, no at the end, but still, that's interesting also, that idea that maybe one day the earth can turn differently no, it can't. Like, really, I didn't believe it. I can't imagine it, not even for a minute, just because of physical things, you know, like scientific things. It can't be. But it can be fun. I mean, interesting to imagine it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop this review right now and I'm gonna stop this little session of binge watching, you know, these two episodes of The Twilight Zone. I don't know when I would see you again for some episodes of The Twilight Zone. If it pleased you, please tell me that on the comments. If you you want more of it, you know, the extended direction part, you can come on my Patreon. You just have to subscribe to the level 2 and it can be also a way to encourage me to continue this project on my channel to tell me also maybe which episode you would want me to react to come on my patreon, come on the comments, all of that okay, it's all for you and for me for this episode so it's all for me for now, so bye for now bye wait a minute, wait a minute doc uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.